these are some of the best classic Cartoon Network shows that we've watched as kids. Now, the last video I made about Cartoon Network shows that we watched as kids, not a lot of people seem to enjoy it because people were saying I didn't put Adventure Time or this show or that show at first. But hey, I mean, maybe a lot of people didn't grow up with those shows like I did or maybe they just haven't seen them at all. But I bet you in this video, classic cartoons, I'm talking classic Cartoon Network shows that go from the 90s to the early 2000s. And I bet you all of you have seen at least one of these shows at least but i'm telling you if you guys did not see at least one of these shows and you've been living under a rock your whole entire life like where have you been like come on this is the new generation how have you not seen these shows before back then so anyways i hope you guys do not throw any flames at me you know because of the last video but i bet you this one will definitely get your hopes up because i bet you you have at least seen one of these shows but anyways let's go Starting off at number five, we got Teen Titans. This show was just revolutionary. I mean, like, you can't deny this show was one of the best, like, one of the best classic cartoons on Cartoon Network. However, not to mention, when they rebooted this show, they ruined Teen Titans. Like, what happened to it? Like, look at this. Oz! What is that Teen Titans Go is terrible and I'm gonna let y'all know right now Teen Titans Go has nothing on the original Teen Titans because they literally changed Teen Titans into a joke in Teen Titans Go all the characters are stupid they take nothing serious and every fight is just so weird. like where's the action like I didn't sign up for this like once they rebooted this show like it changed my whole entire image on Teen Titans I will always ask myself when I see it I'm like bro like what is that? Like, what kind of show is this? Like, come on, man. We have older kids trying to watch this show, too. But you don't see me trying to watch this taller, babyish show? Like, what kind of show is this? What I definitely don't understand is, how does the original show have five seasons, but the rebooted show has eight seasons? Like, how is the show, like, explain. How does a show from back in the early 2000s that had so many reviews that a lot of people wish that the show was still longer from... A rebooted show that's literally that turned into a baby show, a show that's not even funny, that doesn't have any action, come up to eight seasons. Like, what? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. None of the jokes were funny. The show was just straight up immature. It had like dookie jokes and stuff like that. Like, that's not funny. Like, what kind of sh like? What is this? But I'm telling you right now, for those who say that Teen Titans Go was better than the original, bro, like, are you okay? Like, are you okay in your head? Like, do you need to see a doctor? Like, are you good? Do you need me to get somebody? Because I will. But all jokes aside, though, this show was one of the best. And I'm telling you, if you haven't watched this show, then you weren't into action. Like, that that's just true. Coming in at number four, we got Powerpuff Girls. You, you just can't hate on it. Like, come on. Like, this show was, like, one of the most classic shows that I can remember watching. I remember watching this show at, like, 9 o'clock, like, 9 p.m. at past my bedtime like that's how good this show actually was you could be a boy or a girl and i bet you you know what this show is even if you haven't seen this show you know what it looks like and you know what the characters look like like come on now and i remember every single time i saw this show when it was about to come on i'm like oh snap yo it's about to go down Coming in at number three, we got Ed, Ed, and Eddie! This show was a classic! Now, unfortunately, I can't remember that much of the show. Like, I haven't seen it in years. Like, the last time I remember watching the show when I was, like, five. Like, that's how long ago it was since I seen this show. So, sadly, I don't remember that much of the show. But the only thing I can remember was that this show was goaded! I gotta give that show a rewatch. But if you haven't seen Ed, Ed, and Eddie, then you're just built different. That's all I can say to you. Coming in at number two, we got Tom and Jerry! Let's go! Almost every episode I watch of Tom and Jerry just has me on the floor laughing. Like, every single time when Tom and Jerry get into some shenanigans or when they fight, bro, I'm always thinking, like, ooh, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Is Tom finally gonna win for once? I mean, because Jerry always whoops him. But still, though, every single time Tom sees Jerry's, bro, it is on sight. He's fighting him on sight. And it's just so funny. Like, every single time when Tom would get, in like, when he would get injured or when he would get hit really hard, he would do that iconic scream that almost everybody knows about let me see if i can try to do that scream don't laugh <laughs> tell me that show didn't have you cracking up because i know for a fact that you laughed really really hard at an episode of tom and jerry but nonetheless though this show is one of the best and i honestly what's even crazy is that i still watch this show to this day i still watch it tom and jerry will always have a special place in my heart and last but not least we have by far one of the best cartoon network classic shows that we've watched as kids we got Jack. This show was classic! 
think it was so elite. Bro, the action and the storyline in this show, it was just so good. Honestly, like, in my opinion, I see Samurai Jack as like an anime. I don't see it as a goofy cartoon. This show was the real deal back in the day. I remember staying up at like 2 o'clock in the morning watching this show or even waiting for another episode to play. And boy, let me tell you, it was worth every single episode. I didn't care what I was missing. And also, tell me I wasn't the only one who thought that the person who was singing the intro wasn't even speaking English because every time we listen to the intro we would always be like watch out watch out like seriously that's all we heard as kids like when, like seriously we always we, we would just be speaking like I don't even know what we were saying like we literally thought that that person wasn't even speaking English when he was saying the intro every single episode but hey now that I know the intro I could finally do this gotta get back Back to the past Samurai Jack mm -mm, cha, Gotta get back Back to the oh! And every single episode always had me wondering Like I was so hyped about the show I was always thinking about the episode every single time I was always thinking Bro will Samurai Jack ever get back to the past And finally finish Aku And I mean I no, look, I'm not gonna say. Look, I'm not gonna say what happened. Spoilers for those who haven't seen the show. But overall, though, this show was so elite. The fighting scenes were awesome. Everything about the show was awesome, especially the storyline. All I can say is that if you haven't seen the show, watch it. Right now.